I guess normally, you know, you have, uh, you can see the screen. Yeah, okay, great. So basically today uh, is gonna be a small introduction to graphic design, you know, what is graphic design, some basic fundamentals, and we'll talk also about like design as an industry, what would you able to do? What are the career prospects that you that you may be expecting during like your career in design? Let's say. So um, basically, uh, as I said, we'll talk about what's graphic design, the visual elements, you know, just the colors and so on and so forth. We'll also talk about the softwares, um, the applications, let's say, that that you use to make your designs come to life. And of course, we'll talk about design as an industry and, you know, just like what it represents, not only as something artistic, but as as a business or something else. OK. So um, first question that a lot of people may like may encounter, it's basically what is graphic design? So um, when you Google those and of course, you expressing whatever it is that you have in your mind to the viewer. The other aspect is design, which includes the thinking process and of course the practice. So basically you're not just doing something artistic, but you're trying to solve a problem and you're trying to deliver a certain message to, to the audience that are expecting your designs. Okay, so uh, now we'll, we're gonna talk about the visual elements of design. First things first, it's uh, the basic color theory. Um, basically, it's uh, how do you choose the colors that you put in your design. So um, we have, of course, uh, basically, I think everyone knows this, but I'll just go through it again. Uh, we have primary colors, which, which make up like the basis of the color wheel. There they are. Um, we also have the secondary colors, which are made of mixing equal portions of primary colors. So basically, if you mix a, this yellow with this blue, you'll get this green, and so on and so forth. So, um, yeah, basically, and we also have the tertiary colors, which are made of mixing a primary color with a neighboring secondary color, and you'll get those tertiary colors. And of course, uh, the color wheel is divided into warm and cool colors. I hope, uh, I hope everyone has got this. If you have uh, any questions again, just drop them in the box and uh, as, like, as the conversation goes on. So um, what else do we have? So we have typography. What does typography mean? Typography is the art of working with text. So basically we have different types of typography. We have typography in use, which can be divided into two parts, uh, the functional type and the decorative and the creative part. So one is used for uh, decorations and so on, which is this one, the one that I'm gonna circulate right now so here it's just it's basically just like decorations and more about the art however there's the functional one which is more about the problem solving and you know just trying to deliver a certain message that that may like may or may not the problem that basically for example if i'm gonna talk about evolution in typography we'll just um we'll just have to have have the title big and the rest is going to be underneath and so on and so forth uh another thing that we have just let me clear the thing okay oh, great so uh we also have hold on i think we have a small problem here um oopsie Okay, yeah, basically this is it. Um, give me a second, let me fix this thing. Okay, okay, all right. So um, we have two different types of text. We have a serif font and we have a sans serif font. So basically the serif, which is on your left, 
that uh, that's used in books and in all printed works. And the sans serif is for screens and for digital digital interfaces, let's say. So basically, um, what makes them different is those little endings in the those little endings in the sides of every uh, of every letter. So that makes the difference between uh, a serif and the sans serif. Um, you find those in books and in newspapers and in basically every printed work. Okay. So, yeah. We move on to the third visual element, which is contrast. Contrast is basically just uh, like the way you emphasize a certain, a certain aspect in your design. It's like you try to clear out something and then you try to clear out another thing and so on and so forth and you use that as contrast. So contrast in use can be, can be in different things. We have contrast in shape, which is like you create the difference. I don't know what you say, how you say contrast in Arabic. Let me think of it. How do you say contrast in Arabic? idea I have no idea how do they say that in Arabic anyways um, so basically we have contrast in okay. shape we also have it what so it's called tabayun tabayun okay mm. <laughs> I'm learning as well <laughs> yeah okay. so yeah um, we have the contrast in color we also have it in scale it can be different in uh, and it can be in color as well and in type and in alignment. So basically, if you want your designs to not be boring, let's say, quote unquote, um, you should try to put contrast in there. So every visual element in, in design is something that is necessary in every single design that you're gonna make towards like the beginning of your career. So basically, even like, even if you are, senior designer with 13 years of experience you're you're gonna come back and think of these things because they are like the very basic and the very yeah basically the very basic uh, aspect that you're gonna meet so uh the next visual elements which is called hierarchy i also have no idea how do they say this in arabic but yeah um control students everywhere okay hello <laughs> In the lectures, okay. I, <laughs> I think I've been there a couple of times, yeah. but obviously not for studies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways, so uh, um, welcome to the new guys that are up. I think we have new guys, right? Uh, wait a minute. I would see, try to see, no. It's okay, I thought I thought we have new participants. No, it's just the same participants. So, guys, let, let us finish our presentation. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. Uh, so we have hierarchy. It's uh, it's basically um, trying to guide the viewer's eye to whatever it is that's important in your design. So, um, what, for example, what I wanted you to see first is the title which is visual hierarchy so i made it big and then you're gonna start to see the images and basically the last thing that you may see is this thing in the bottom corner and that's basically what hierarchy is all about it's uh it's about like guiding the viewer's eye to whatever it is important in uh, in your design and to whatever it is like what what you want them to remember the most in your design Okay, I hope everything is clear. Um, if nothing is clear, you can just uh, send it in uh, in the chat box or just like send it to me. I don't know if I received anything yet. Anyways, so basically here's uh, a few examples of the visual hierarchy. So basically, for example, if we take this, uh, if we take this magazine, for example, the first things, one of the first things that you see, because I'm not going to tell you like you're going to see this first and if you don't, you're wrong. No, basically, for example, you have seen the Sun's logo first and then you've seen this thing and then you move on to read the subtitles. 
So yeah, basically that's uh, that's what hierarchy is about. So basically, wh whatever is big, it means that it is it's the most important in whatever it is that you're seeing. So if you buy if you buy a new book, you're gonna find the title as big as it is. For example, we have this book right here. So first things that you're gonna see is this is this title right here, Crush It. And then you're gonna see this and this, and then you're gonna read the name of the of the writer, and then you're gonna come and read this text, or maybe even not read it at last. So basically, yeah, and uh, that's uh, that can be the most efficient example uh, I can ever uh, give. So what else do we have? Another visual element is called alignment. So in alignment, we have different types. So we basically have the edge and center alignment, which is, that's like the most, the thing that you're gonna see the most. So basically it's either you align your things to the left edge or to the right one, to the top or to the bottom, even in the center axis as well. Another thing is um, your, uh, there are like different types of alignment. For example, we have this alignment, which is not good, let's say. Uh, it's, it's basically because the elements are, uh, are not creating the, the contrast and the hierarchy is not achieved at all in here. And we have another example of alignment, which is, the, which is like the good alignment right here. I don't know where my mouse is, so basically I'm just gonna draw random things. Uh, anyways, yeah, basically that's, uh, these are like the types of alignment and I think we have alignment in use. Okay. Yeah. Great. So, uh, you can, usually the alignment is made to a grid. So whenever you're making something, uh, you're making it in a certain, following a certain grid. I don't know how they say that in Arabic as well. Um, grid. Okay, let me think. I don't know. I don't even know how they say that. <laughs> I guess the idea is clear. Like, wait. I hope, I hope they are. <laughs> Anyways, so there are different approaches for alignment in design. Basically, you find the perfect example in um, newspapers and magazines. Um, for example, in, uh, in this one, you see that we have the title and we have the text box and the image and we also have like and then the image and then the, the text box and so on and so on. so there are different ways to use alignment depending on the elements that you have so if you have text you're going to align it in 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 a way where it is like all in the same line and just uh, given the viewer a clear thing of what they are gonna read. You're not gonna throw throw some a paragraph here and a paragraph there and leave the middle empty and just put a picture somewhere in, in your page and so on. So basically you try to get your uh, your viewer to feel as, mu as much comfortable as, as possible. So yeah. And now I hope that uh, the uh, the elements were clear um, yet. No, we don't. The meeting has been upgraded. Okay, cool. So uh, yeah, we don't have any questions yet, and we're gonna move on to talk about a little bit about like the softwares that you're gonna find uh, in design. So basically, if you if you want to bring your designs to life, you're Gonna need softwares, which is obvious, I guess. Um, so here are some of the softwares. Basically, we have we have Adobe softwares, which are like the most famous. Um, we have Adobe Illustrator, which does um, it, it. Basically, does everything that's vector. So we'll talk about the difference between a vector and the raster in a, in a few. We have Photoshop, which basically is uh, 
one of the most famous uh, design softwares uh, you can find. It is made necessarily for editing images, for manipulating images. Uh, some people even use it for videos and uh, those GIF images that you see as well. We have InDesign, which is made for, uh, for every printed work that you can see, basically. Uh, the magazines, the newspapers, the books, the uh, e-books, the e and so on are made with InDesign. And we have Adobe XD, which is made specifically for UI and UX design. For UI means user interface, and UX means, let me, let me just say that, yeah. So UI means user interface, and UX means uh, user experience. Those are uh, different topics for, different, for another day. <laughs> uh, yeah, because those are like th those can be very complicated especially the user experience we also have coral draw which is similar to adobe illustrator um it works in vectors and we have affinity softwares which uh, they have affinity designer which is similar to illustrator and they have affinity photo which is similar to photoshop and uh yeah basically those are the most known softwares you can use any software that you like, even if it's not here. These are the softwares that I would personally recommend you to use. But there are different softwares out there which, uh, which you can definitely download. And just like the most important thing is that you practice and that you, put, and that you bring your ideas to life. No matter, no matter, it doesn't matter using what. I personally started using Microsoft Paint. So it's not, about, it's not about the software that you start with. I always say this to people um, that in my workshops and so on, uh, design is not about the software that you use, it's all about the ideas. So basically design is all about the ideas, it's all about the creativity that you bring onto the table. Softwares, at the end of the line, they are just tools. Uh, so yeah, basically this is it. Uh, so for now, I think, we have a new one, Khaled. Anyways, clear those. Okay, good. So um, now we're gonna talk about graphic design as an industry. I wouldn't say graphic design as an industry, but design in general. So um, more, okay. I have, hello, okay, yeah, hi Khaled. <laughs> So um, basically, the industry of uh, of graphic design it's it's very it's very broad. It's uh, it's very big. There is a huge community of designers out there um, in Algeria or uh, anywhere else in the world. Basically, design is uh, is slowly getting to become the 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 franchise, let's say. So because it has. has been included in a lot of a lot of decision can come so it's not only now about making visuals and making beautiful social media posters or, or making logos but it's more about you know just uh, just getting a certain company to be known and uh, getting a certain business or a certain startup to differentiate from different startups and to just put its place out there in the market so it's not just uh, designing or as some people call it drawing with with a laptop so <laughs> it's not just it's not just that um, things are evolving so you you will find also different types of designers for example um i started off as a graphic designer but then i shifted to being a brand designer which basically i design brand identities um starting from from logos to to the, the websites and to the brand as a strategy, let's say. So it's not only about just making a certain visual thing to, your, to the audience and then the designer job ends because it is not. That is just like the thing that the people see, but there are a lot of things that happen behind the scenes, the research and the, like the, the network can the uh, the problem solving process you know just trying to understand who are getting to see your design because and you're gonna have to research you're gonna have to know wh who are the people that are going to see your design uh what type of company is that what are the visual elements that they use 
and so on. So basically, it's not just the end result, but it's a whole process. It's not just opening Photoshop and just getting ideas, but it's also about sketching ideas. It's also about brainstorming. It's also about working effectively in teams because at first you're going to work alone, but then you're, I think, every one of you is going to join a certain company as a designer and you'll find yourself in a team working with the, with different other creatives as well and just trying to understand every single point of view and you know just trying to come up with with one idea that works the best and that idea can take your whole take that whole company to a whole other level for example uh bimo bimo at first we know it as uh, as just like cookies but they have taken their game to another level on social media and now it's just basically the brand of the people so yeah that's that that's mostly the designer's job because when you say that to people they're they're gonna have a hard time believing it but it's true because designers are the, are also the ones working on the strategy with the marketers and so on you can also find product designers which design certain product for example the ones that started uber uh basically it was started by designers and i don't know if yes it was started that way too but i think it was and there is the user interface and the user experience designs uh, design as well which is um, basically for uh, uh, mobile applications and website applications where you design interfaces for people uh, you design a website or uh, or a mobile application and you try to, where do you place the buttons and how big are those buttons and why are they this big and not that big and why? Um, it's, uh, I was just waiting for, uh, for questions. So if anyone has any questions. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. If, if you have any questions, uh, write them for chat. Or you can just- You gotta have questions. <laughs> There have to be questions. I'm not yeah. leaving until you have questions. Oh, yeah, guys. I can see it all day. <laughs> so uh, you choose whether uh, you uh, write them to the chat now or just tell us and uh, turn the mic to talk. Should we be organized? So, Nora, you Where? asked uh, before, you're here, Nora, you asked before about the uh, softwares of graphic design. Okay, which software should yeah. you learn to start? Adobe Illustrator. Adobe Illustrator. I think you can, you can start with, uh, with any software that you like. It's, it doesn't have to be Illustrator. It's like, it's not, it's not... No basic math but it's preferably illustrator because you're gonna have to you're gonna come back to it sooner or later and it's basically it 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 provides it all so yeah. i i personally would recommend illustrator but if it doesn't work there are a lot of other softwares that uh yeah. that can be useful to you so yeah, yeah. Because but I would personally recommend Illustrator, so I think that would be a yes, Adobe Illustrator. Yeah, because it's like you use vectors, it's much more yeah. better for quality and stuff. Okay. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. It's uh, it's better for, uh, for... Vectors are better in quality in general. So, so Khaled, I guess you have a question. The quality uh, of the vector. Yeah. Something else. So, Khaled has a question. Uh, go. Just go and then wait a minute. Yeah. Um, Khaled, you can yes. hear me. Okay. Okay. Um, I don't have a question. It's a kind of a suggestion. Um, I've always wanted to create a community for uh, graphic designers in Algeria. Like provide all mm -hmm. kinds of services, yeah. uh, maybe create yeah. an account, a YouTube channel, and everything. Provide all the information we have. For example, uh, we have specialists in every field. Someone we have uh, fashion designers, interior designers, branders, 
uh, UI, UX designers, um, every uh, specialty. And uh, the good thing about that is uh, we can like uh, absorb all the clients uh, in Algeria if we choose Algeria as our uh, uh, like the clients we choose. If it's Algeria, then we can absorb all of these clients. We can um, approach. Uh, older companies, companies that are already in Algeria and develop their brands, for example, develop their uh, uh, interfaces, uh, or the interface of their websites, of their apps, etc. Uh, there are examples on uh, Instagram. Uh, I'm sure you follow them. For example, this circle. Do you know about this circle? No. Well, uh, okay, I'm going to send you the. Okay, just one second. Let me look it up. And we have, uh, there is uh, one called The Future on YouTube. Uh, I forgot the. Yeah. By, uh, yeah those are exactly. Yeah, those uh, are a community of uh, communities of graphic designers. We can do the same thing, uh, which is uh, I think it will be useful for us. Yeah, it's a good suggestion. Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, if you have any ideas. Uh, well, uh, we can like uh, start by um, creating a group uh, of chat, whether Instagram or uh, Messenger, and discuss the ideas and uh, maybe get inspired from other groups, as you told us. You told us. Hello. Mm -hmm. So we have okay. a really bad connection. Okay. Yeah. So, so, so I think Khaled was talking about uh, uh so i think khaled was talking about the uh the community i think yeah if i'm not wrong i don't know yeah and I yeah that. i don't i didn't hear what he said so so he said the like uh, camps of the com communities uh tag graphic designers that like work together to give like a better content and stuff so he was thinking if we can create such things uh, in Algeria, Kima, the community had it. I think we can definitely have that, uh, the design community in Algeria, because we have uh, amazing individuals and uh, basically amazing, just like amazing talents. And a lot of, a lot of people uh, have like, like have that certain, experience that they all always wanted to share but definitely create that that community um it's just gonna it's just gonna take some time to prep the whole thing up but i think i think it's very possible yeah i don't know where anyway if you have question guys and what we covered so far i couldn't i couldn't hear what you said actually but okay uh, do you hear me now there are Facebook groups that that have like there are like Facebook groups that have a lot of designers in them. Yeah. Uh, for example, there's one called Graphist Algeria or something. Mm -hmm. As, uh, the com the design community in Algeria. It has a lot of people, it's not, but there are definitely some great posts in there. Uh, I forgot what it's called. I think it's uh First time you have that connection. Uh, okay. So yeah, uh Halid the one who gave the idea. I don't know where something. Or maybe or is interested. Yeah. Uh, like uh, people who like are posting content online about design in general so uh, you find you'll find those a lot for example there's uh, Manar here there's there's me there I think I think that like design is right now is um, very accessible to everyone so yeah I think I think that if you want to do something in design for now is like a perfect time for everyone to just start. Yeah. 
So Shema has here a really good question. In portfolio, we usually tell you if you didn't get a job opportunity before you can show us your, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I think I can answer that one. Um, for example, if uh, everyone needs a portfolio to work, but you also need to work to get a portfolio. And there's only one solution to this one. Basically, you can take part in student clubs, student associations, and th that's personally, that's what I did. Uh, I took part of associations and clubs and stuff. There are also a lot of design challenges out there, which... Uh, which you can like participate in um just like you can just literally go to google and type design challenges and just start working on it you don't have to add all of all of those works to your portfolio but you can like put the best one that you think that is the best and you think that perfectly represents you as a person and as a designer so yeah you can just like volunteer take part of events uh there are a lot of those out there there are not many here in quarantine but because we're in quarantine and stuff but there are there are many of those um online and actually since we're in quarantine is it going to be it's like way better because you can you can like have the time to create and just take part of a design challenge. I personally never finished the design challenge because I always had. I hope I, I hope answered I your question. Okay, uh, I have also another um, uh, answer for your question, Shemo. Uh, I think that I'm trying uh, to use this time these days, especially. Yeah. Sorry, I uh, I didn't hear you. Can you please repeat yeah. what uh, did you say? So, Kutlikpisko, we are in in quarantine, so you have a lot of free time. So, now try to go to try different new things. For example, you want to learn uh, for example, vector art, like learn realist that work uh, This this thing will also help a lot. Which time reports will you tag? Okay, thank you so much, Hussam and Aisha. Uh, uh, yeah. And we would like to see your post for you because you are a good graphic designer. Inshallah, inshallah, soon. <laughs> okay. Hopefully. So, other question, guys? Come on. I think uh, something that they could they could do more of it's basically to. Do Constantly look for feedback. Uh, any design that you make, just try to reach out to someone for feedback. I don't know. You can reach out to me. Uh, you can also try to find out which design field they got, but you can just uh, try to do different types of designs and just see which one are you most comfortable in and which one are you also most productive in because it's not only about you being comfortable in a certain field, but it's also about you just like getting the job done in that field. Also, you can uh, read books, uh, attend conferences, watch documentaries, try to get as many pieces of information as possible because the more, the more data you get, the more input or like, let's say insight that you get, it's going to be very helpful for you to just like kickstart a career in design so basically there are a lot of books out there for example there's still like an artist there's show you work there's crush it there are a lot of different books that you can read they are not necessarily about design as as like here's how here's what to do to become designer but there are they just teach you the thinking of a designer so like what is the mindset that you need to succeed in the design field? Because you can just go in there and just say, uh, hi, I'm a new designer here. Uh, let's get things done. So it's not, it's not about that. It's basically all thinking process and the whole problem solving process. So yeah. And try to work on your network as much as you can. Try, uh, if you want, 
like you can just get connections with different designers that can like that can push you and share opportunities with you and of course you can share any opportunity that you see with them there are exchange programs there are scholarships fellowships and so on uh you can basically take part of those as well so yeah, yeah. i hope my internet is not bad now i have no idea because wi-fi is off i'm using mobile later <laughs> so Oh, Amel is here. Yes, hi. I'm sorry for joining late. It's okay. I don't know what you guys talked about exactly, but I'm pretty sure that you did great. Thank so you. I don't have any questions. Or... Okay, thank you, Amel. Welcome. Thank you. So yeah, guys, if so, you have questions, uh, ask them. So you know, we we need to end it up. And uh, concerning the next, yeah. Uh, yeah. Concerning the next session, I will um, send you all details via email. <laughs> so Hassan, you want to add anything? I think uh, add me. They can. If you have, you have my contacts, if you have, if any question pops up, you can, you can ask me. You can, uh, you can just reach out. I'll definitely answer you as soon as I can. Uh, and yeah, just, just go at it. I'll be, I'll be waiting to see and to work with some of you in the future. I'm sure that uh, that it would be a great one and. Uh, yeah, I hope I hope you got all the points clear. I can share the the slides with you as well if you want to. Uh, I can share different resources as well, so you can just reach out and I'll take care of the rest. So yeah, thank, thank you, you and uh, have a good night. For, uh, and um, just like stay tuned for next sessions. So basically, next session I will send you all the link and stuff. What it's what it's gonna be about, and um, the link to join via email. And yeah, if you have, you don't have any questions so far, I'll just tell you sahas and uh, goodbye.